My name is Dan Uphoff, and this is a 1972 Datsun 510. I've had about 20 different Datsuns. I've been into Datsuns since I was a kid. I remember sitting in the back seat of a 510, reading a book or playing with toys and letting my parents take me to whatever show we were going to that weekend. We had our Blue Lake Datsun show that's been going on this year is the 34th year. My dad is still the president of the club. My first Datsun I got was my purple 510, which is in the garage. Um, it was my dad's car for like 15 years before that. It was his daily driver and did a lot of stupid stuff with the car growing up. Art Hughes was the original owner of this 510. Um, he bought the car brand new back in 1972. He actually bought it for his aunt. And then in 1979, when she passed away, he got the car back. It only had 7,000 miles put on it. He decided that I'm going to leave this car as is and he just left it all original and that's just been his thing through all those years like running around with the stock showroom quality 510 which to him he said you never saw that anymore everybody that got a 510 the first thing they did is they lower them they put different wheels on them you know the moment they got it they started modifying it so seeing a non-modded car that's in original condition to him that's what he enjoyed about the car. Yeah, I have a binder full of paperwork. Uh, he gave me gas receipts. He gave me serv every service record on the car back to 1972. He even had like his original dealer slip. He had laminated um, the original 100,000 mile buyback guarantee from Brasso Dotson. Yeah, he kept everything on this car. Every single record that he could have, he kept. Well, when Art wanted to sell the car, he had it up for sale. Um, he had a couple different people look at it up there. One person talked about wanting to put in a five speed and start modifying the car. And then another family wanted to buy the car for their son for his first car. And just hearing all this, just art, it, he didn't want it. So he actually sent my dad a letter just saying, will you please buy the car? And for me, like growing up with the car and seeing it at all the shows since I was five, like I loved the color of it, I loved how it looked, you know, I loved art. And when I he told me about the letter, I was just like, buy it. Like, go buy it from art and then I will buy it from you. And so he went up there, he bought it from art, he had to go through the whole process of importing it. Because it was a Canadian car, so he had to go through American customs and all that. The thing I remember him telling me that really got to him was when he left Art at the border and he remembers Art tearing up as he drove off with the car. You know, the car had always been with him since you know the late 70s and he was at every show every single year and it was when he didn't show up that's when we ended up finding out about him being sick and he wanted to sell the car to make sure that it was taken care of. There's been a good amount of trophies I have two big boxes of arts that were just full. I have a few that I've won with the car, but to me it's not as much about winning a trophy as just taking the car and having fun with it. My next plans for the car are just to leave it the way it is and just continue maintaining it the way it is. I've told my wife and other people a lot of times I don't feel like it's even my car. I feel more like the caretaker of the car. Like I feel like it's still Art's car. I'm just the one looking after it for him for right now. To me, it's like a time capsule. I want to preserve it just the way he did.